I'll just say I'm cloud hired. Rahul Bajpai. I uh, live in Princeton Junction, New Jersey. I'm originally from India, but been in US about 20 plus years. And I joined the program in um, December 2021. Yes, I'm a senior consultant with a private company. It's based out of UK. And uh, we oversee a lot of uh, pharmaceutical um, and private entities that have significant liability in the areas of uh, environmental uh, assessments, um, remediation, etc. And uh, we kind of help oversee multiple uh, properties and many of their consultants all over the world to make sure they are in regulatory compliance um, so that uh, these bigger corporations don't have to hire qualified individuals to kind of oversee all the technical work that's happening on their properties. I was a senior PM within a civil environmental consulting firm, and we would do uh, industrial manufacturing, large scale, scale facilities, uh, consulting services with the uh, various private corporations, anything from um, civil design to environmental work uh, to permitting etc and i kind of managed multiple teams across the states uh, and more my role mostly was about portfolio financial management making sure and identifying any risks any contracts that we were going to have a potential loss on and or leverage or risk issues uh, kind of daylight them to the management and then see what we can do to avoid that Uh, primarily COVID, uh, just we had to let go a bunch of people uh, when COVID struck. Some of the work really got shut down. Um, so, uh, there were headcount reductions, hours reductions, and uh, the IT industry didn't really skip a beat. I mean, most of my friends uh, in the IT industry did pretty well during the last couple of years. And uh, I got in touch with them and they, they recommended getting into cloud positions, cloud security primarily. Uh, and... Uh, one thing led to another, I I think I saw Michael Gibbs on LinkedIn um, through one of the, the different uh, groups or, or channels I kind of subscribe to on LinkedIn. And uh, then I spoke with him in December and I ended up joining the program. Yes, I, I uh, initially joined uh, the A Cloud Guru platform and uh, ended up learning about AWS. I earned my uh, Cloud Certificate Practitioner Certificate in May 2021. I also took courses via Coursera on Python programming and I've completed three of the four modules. Uh, the fourth module will be completed uh, this month. And uh, I took a Google certified project management uh, certificate course online that was offered by Google. Uh, other than that, no other, no other programs or platforms. I would say definitely the, the way Mike breaks down the information for non IT folks to understand. It's one thing to speak to a crowd that's very knowledgeable about um, different aspects of uh, networking, technology, security, data transfer, data governance, et cetera. And then he helps really break down um, what it actually means to a non-IT person and how I can then pick that up and build my own knowledge base. I think that's where I found this program to be pretty different than uh, some of the other ones, of, uh, like I mentioned about a Cloud Guru and, and all the other things. Sure. Um, one of the um, introductory videos, I think Mike had mentioned about just being calm and uh, making sure, taking the pressure well and understanding what is being asked, 
how to respond to certain questions, positive uh, mindset, positive body language, things like that, uh, increasing your LinkedIn presence, um, offering valuable content or comment on your peers or the other information you're looking on LinkedIn so that you, whenever somebody goes and looks at your profile, they can see, okay, this person has made some impactful contribution to furthering the discussion, so to speak. So those things definitely helped me. I mean, since uh, since I joined the program, I've increased my LinkedIn connections uh, quite a bit. I've, I'm trying to get very active on social media, primarily on LinkedIn, but to offer like valuable comments, uh, technical comments where possible. I've joined various AWS groups and I offer solutions to whenever folks are asking questions because that helps further my knowledge uh, as well. And then I also read a lot about other technical responses people offer and see how things might work with EC2 or AWS Glue, et cetera. So. I'd say it's certainly uh, for someone outside of uh, the IT field, it, it gave me hope. And um, I'm, I'm a very analytical guy. And I, if I can see that there is a way forward, then I will work to, to get there. And I think uh, the program definitely helped me saw that there was a way forward for someone like me who's done civil environmental engineering for almost 18 years now to potentially still be able to learn and then switch into a uh, cloud role uh, moving forward. I wasn't expecting uh, Mike to be adamant about increasing or making meaningful contribution on LinkedIn, increasing presence and making meaningful contribution on LinkedIn because I always thought that, you know, your, your knowledge and or your certifications can kind of help you demonstrate experience, but the way he put it all together in how a hiring manager may view you virtually, so to speak, on LinkedIn and how they may go about reviewing your profile, your activity, understanding if you have a good brand online. Uh, these th concepts were alien to me prior to joining the program. I'd heard about the chatter a lot, uh, but I'm a big believer now, pretty much ever since I joined the program. I'm, every day I, I look to engage and I look to contribute and, and look to learn. And uh, I think that's the biggest change in my mindset. I think the flexibility works great, great for me. I mean, I, I don't have to be available to attend the class online. I like to be able to just sit back at, uh, you know, on a weekday at 7 p.m. and just kind of run through some lectures and understand, okay, what was taught today or this week. And uh, then I'm more of like a off hours, weekend, available to learn type of guy. I, it's tough to do it during normal business hours, especially when I'm traveling. So uh, I definitely appreciate the flexibility that I don't necessarily have to do this in a given window during business hours.